Gabriel Boric said he was going to do things differently as Chile's youngest ever president. A sign of that change? His presidential residence. The 36-year-old Boric will live in downtown Santiago instead of a wealthy eastern zone like his predecessors. Beatrice de Girolamo, who runs a bakery near Boric's new residence, says the president-to-be came in like an ordinary person. He has gone to other businesses to say hello, the drugstore, the liquor store, and that gesture seems very nice to me because we are going to have a very humble, down-to-earth president and more connected to the streets, to the people, with Chile. Boric is a former student protest leader heading up a broad leftist coalition. He's pledged to rip up Chile's conservative, market-oriented rulebook and push progressive reform. That includes strong support for LGBTQ groups, a focus on climate change, and Chile's first-ever majority female cabinet. His new home is a sign of change in the country, where anger has risen in recent years over inequality and an entrenched ruling elite. I am happy he has chosen this neighborhood. There is still a lot of crime, but the fact he is coming, because he has not arrived yet, means there is a lot of police patrolling, so we feel calmer, safer. Boric's team declined to comment on his choice of residence, but the message is clear. Making a break from past leaders, critics say, had become disconnected from the people.